Hello, trail travelers. Today we are hitting a trail with one of the sexiest names ever. We're hitting 68J. So stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, now if you've watched my video on Gross Reservoir, I kind of said it was basically the easiest trail I think we've ever done. Uh, you, it was nothing, absolutely. And so I think I actually w might have been confused as to what trail was which. But what we ended up on was a ridiculously easy trail. So today we are back at Gross Reservoir, but we're on the other side of the reservoir. And this time we're on County Road 68J. Now this is supposed to be a lot harder of a trail. So it sounds uh, pretty fun. Plus, there's a lot of snow. Yeah, so, so gotta bring yeah. the standard snow bashing crew out. We got Philip and Dana, we got Nam, and we have Josh and Christina over in the white Rubastina over there. So hopefully this will be a little bit more difficult and the snow is gonna add a bit of a challenge. Let's give it a shot. Okay. <laughs> Well, we're starting off here on County Road 68J, and um, so far it's, you know, seems plowed and clear, and it just seems like a dirt road so far, but we did just get started on it. So I did actually forget to reset my uh, trip meter, but I'm gonna do it now just so we can kind of see where we're going here. Okay. Now the sign does say private property, but we were told to keep going on here. It's just private property on the sides. And this is part of the trail. So hopefully we were not steered wrong on that and that we're going in the right direction. This definitely is all of a sudden a lot rougher than it was the first part of it, but we're just gonna have to see what this trail is all about, because this is our first time here. This was recommended to us by one of our YouTube subscribers when he saw our video on Gross Reservoir and how easy I said it was. He's like, oh no, you gotta try the other side. That's where it actually is trickier and more difficult. Well, we now have snow on the road, and uh, yeah, we're gonna see what this is all about. Okay, the road ahead requires high clearance and or four wheel drive. Uh, well, good. We have both of those. So, great. Here we go. Well, this was definitely a little sketchy being the first one to come up this. It got pretty tippy. But I figured out the line. And now everyone else shouldn't have any problem plowing right through it. Here comes Nam. Now 
Making it look easy. We all made it through that okay we had a little difficulty being the first ones up and trying to figure out what the line was but we are definitely well maybe not the first ones through here there is another set of tire tracks but from uh, previous snow they got covered over I can definitely see that this is gonna be a fun trail when uh, there's not as much snow on it but we're gonna do what we can today to try and uh, see what this is like in snow because someone said we were stupid to try and do it so if you're you've seen some of our videos you know that that's probably a good way to get us to go do something <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! Damn, this is really tough. Okay, I'm Well, there were no vehicle tracks, and all of a sudden we got to a spot and we ran across some vehicle tracks that someone had come up from the other direction and turned around. And so there's there's definitely another way in here. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, where this all goes.
So if you notice here on Rubustina, those air scoops are a little different. What is that? S and B intake pitch scoops. Now they're more than just decorations. They're they complete, decorations. completely functional, right? This side will actually just allow cool air to come in and basically help cool your engine compartment and your turbo. And this side actually has like a ram air duct effect um, where there's a channel that comes down and directs air right into your air box. Yeah, when you see this, this is super, super cool. That one actually acts as a ram scoop, bringing air down into this air box. Now this does a couple of things. It's, it's getting the air filter higher. So in case you go through water. Larger intake tube to the throttle body. More air. More air has got to be good, right? More gas mileage. Sounds a little bit better. Just a little bit? Just a little bit. Not that much. It's really can, not that loud. Ha, can you tell any difference in performance? Not really. Not really? No. I mean, I'm on 40s with 513 gears, so like performance kind of went out. Yeah. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's put the, I want to put the hood down because there's one other thing that concerned me that I, I asked him about earlier. And of course, he had the answer to it. So my concern with these air scoops being like this is dust. And during the summer, we get a lot of dust. We're cleaning our air filters, we're cleaning our cabin air filters. This looks like it would suck in a lot of dust. Yeah, so SMB provides you with pitch scoop covers that snap right on and block it all off. Port those situations. There you have it. So if you're like us and you're running trails in the dusty conditions, this is still gonna work because there's little covers that come with it. So, uh, and how, how much was this? The hood scoops are 300 bucks, low pricey. The intake was 329. Um, intake worth every penny, to be determined on the hood scoops, we'll see. They look badass, so, you know, I mean, yeah. So all, all in it was 629? 629, yeah. And how long did it take to install it? Uh, about an hour and a half. And the only thing you, the only modification you have to do is trimming of the, uh, the, liner the, the inside liner. So not a big deal. Had to take it off. They provide you new clips to replace them because you'll break a bunch of them like I did. It's okay if you do. <laughs> but very, very cool. Always cool to see something else. When I first saw these, I'm like, I have got to get those. It looks super cool and it's actually functional. So we'll see what Josh thinks over the next few weeks and decide whether it's something I want to get for myself. If you watch the other video that we did on Gross Reservoir Trail, uh, you may recognize the parking lot because right here, is where you go and head up into there which wasn't really much of a trail it was i mean it was it's an it's dirt roads but it's more uh just to get to some camping spots so it wasn't anything difficult by any stretch but today's trail was definitely a lot of fun 68j uh not for the faint of heart in the snow uh in two different spots but the rest of it was absolutely beautiful if you leave and do it from this side, which is the other parking lot, then you can get pretty far back and then turn around and not hit any of the sketchy stuff. But if you start at the beginning where we did, yeah, there's one tricky spot getting in and then there was another uh, turn that you have to make that was really sketchy. Um, but other than that, it was fine. So don't recommend this for beginners coming from the other side. And really, uh, you gotta be careful in the snow because there were some slick spots and we're lucky there wasn't a lot of snow, maybe only a few inches in most places. So it wasn't too bad, but I would definitely always make sure you come out here in the snow with other people, just in case you get a little uh, out of whack and you need a pull back or something. It's always good to be out here with other people. This is why we always come out with the Trail Traveler crew we had a great time. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the trail. Bye-bye. <laughs> Dino down! Dino down! <laughs> okay, go. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get up.